Hi guys, welcome to Nene's Prepping Kitchen. Today we are going to be making an SHTF meal. And let me tell you, it is a real simple thing. No matter what the circumstance, if we can go into our pantry and grab something to make, you know, uh, it's good to know that we have stuff on our pantry that we can just go grab and make, you know, whether or not we have to cook it indoors, outdoors, uh, you know, it's just great to know. And if you can have something that is quick to throw together, hey, all the better, right? So uh, we're going to be making a, um, it is a ham corn fritter. Yes, ham corn fritter. And I'm going to be using the can of diced ham that I picked up at Walmart. And some Jiffy Corn Mix and an egg. Now you could use uh, frozen eggs if you didn't have, you know, eggs on hand or dehydrated eggs. Uh, and then all you need is some milk. Um, I'm going to be using this right here, which I've already mixed up. I only need a third of a cup of it. Um, and that stuff is actually really good. I got a smaller one to see if I liked it. I do like it. It tastes quite a bit like uh, whole milk. So, hey, why not, right? That way I can have it, keep it on the pantry shelf, and uh, when I need milk, you know, if I don't have milk, I've got milk, right? So, um, let me get the camera aimed down to where you can see the bowl, and we'll get to making these ham corn fritters. Okay, I got the bowl over here. You should be able to see that in the fry pan that I'm going to be using. And uh, we're going to start out by making the jiffy as directed on the package, which is right here. <laughs> and it's going to be one egg and a third cup of milk. That's all you have to add to that. Very, very jiffy, right? Uh, they named that so correct. <laughs> um, get into the box and empty it into the bowl right here. Then we're going to add in the third cup of milk made from the needle. And then we are going to add in the one egg. So we have one egg there. Mix it as directed. And I just realized I am missing a key ingredient. I'll be right back as I go get it. Hey, you can't have corn fritters without corn, right? Uh, the key ingredient, yeah. So we're going to use a half a can of corn. Um, because I had a half a can of corn in the refrigerator left over, we're not going to let it go to waste, so we're going to put that right in there. Good way to get rid of that leftover corn. Nowadays we can't let anything go to waste. Now we're going to put in the diced ham. I'm going to get rid of a little bit of that juice. Put that right in there. Now we're going to get that all mixed up. That's all there is to that. I should have been uh, heating this oil up though in my skillet here. So I'm going to put the rest of my oil right into there, which was probably about yeah, that much. Enough to fry those fritters, so I'll let that get good and hot. This is ready to go. And we'll make some of these ham corn fritters. Make sure to stay tuned. And hey, hit that like. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And uh, yeah, a really easy SHTF meal here that you can make in no time. And you can make it uh, just about 
any uh, scenario, you know, so a good one here, guys. This wasn't in the recipe, but I am going to be adding in some minced onion flakes, too. In fact, uh, if I had an onion chopped up, I would probably go ahead and add me some chopped onions to that just to uh, give it a little bit more flavor. My oil is over here, and I'm going to take a little bit here and just see if it is hot enough. And it is doing its thing there, so I'm going to say it's good enough. And we're just going to take a scoop here. I have an ice cream scooper, and we're going to put it right into that hot oil right there. And here is another one. And I forgot too, I also wanted to add some salt and pepper, so I'm going to go ahead and do that on these right here. And salt and pepper don't hurt no one. <laughs> and so my, my hubby doesn't really care for a whole lot of pepper, so. But I like pepper on my sauce, so. I do feel a little bit in what I'm cooking. <laughs> and then if you want to add more, you can add more. So we're just pretty much going to wait for these to brown on the bottom, and then we're going to flip them over. You know, I mean, pretty easy, right? And in an SHTS situation, you know, uh, something like this could be cooked uh, even over an open flame if you had to, you know. Or on your cook stove outside, uh, you know, just about anywhere you can cook these up. So I'm going to give them a minute, and then I'm going to flip them. So... I want to let it go long enough so it doesn't fall a whole part, so we'll just give it a, a little bit more time. Okay guys, here we go. I'm going to give it a shot. See. <laughs> Hopefully it don't fall apart on me. And if you hear the kids in the background, it's our uh, grand kid week. So, we may hear them in the background. <laughs> so, they have a nice little golden brown on them. And be careful when you're cooking with hot grease, you know, you don't want to. Uh, get a grease burn because those definitely are no fun. But, uh, you know, it, it's always nice to be able to have something from your pantry, you know, something that you can go to and grab, you know, uh, that you know that you can make a meal out of, you know, and, uh, and not have to worry about, you know, we get uh, the canned meats and, you know, uh, we put them in our pantry, and that's great, you know, that uh, it's always nice to uh, have a recipe to know what to do with it, you know. I'm gonna turn my flame down a little bit. Ooh, pop, pop, pop. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't, you don't want to get any of that hot grease popped up on you. So, let's see. That one's pretty good. And uh, I just got me a paper plate here, you know, to kind of absorb some of that oil in the pan there. You know, paper towel or anything like that. It's always nice too. Mm. 
There's one of them. Let me make sure that uh, cornbread, you know, is done. And not soggy. Maybe try to flip that one. Like I say, I might have had my flame on just a little bit too high there. There's number two. There is number three, <laughs> right there, and uh, we're just going to do the rest of them the same way. Put it in the hot grease, and don't have your your hot grease as hot as mine. <laughs> Maybe a medium, medium high. Mine was way up there, guys. So they did turn out a little bit. That one. But I still think they're going to be good. Uh, I'll find out here pretty soon because uh, my hubby's going to have a couple of them for his lunch and I'm going to have one for my lunch. So, hopefully, uh, this is something that I will make again. I will definitely let you know in the comments <laughs> if it is or not. So, that we do have three of them done anyway. Let me get over here where you can see me. Let me turn that down just a little bit more. <laughs> anyway, guys, there is my ham, uh, ham corn fritters. Yeah. So, but if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel and um, yeah, hit that like, subscribe, guys. So, until next time, God bless, toodaloo. Hope y'all have a great one. Bye bye. Hey, honey. Give me your honest opinion from 1 to 10. I give it a 9. A 9? Okay. I'll go with a 9. Okay, guys. We got a 9. It's good though. You heard it from, well, you heard it from the horse's mouth. <laughs>